I think some of the magic of painting is you can put anything in there and you believe it because it's been painted, but there's so many things that are impossible. You can't have, you know, a bubble that lasts forever. You can't have a hand reaching in from nowhere, but in the world of painting, it's all, it's all possible. <music> Being in P-Town, I really, I've committed to the painting, to the creative life um, through my role at the Fine Arts Work Center. Um, get to have a studio space, which we're here now, and also get to have the stability of nine to five um, in their administrative team. Um, and so my, I would say creative life really was nurtured by the Fine Arts Work Center coming out of, um, college. I graduated in 2013. And when I left, I kind of had a body of work that I knew what it was. It was kind of the foundation of my thesis project. And it was all um, black and white, very elaborate fabric patterns, objects wrapped in fabric. Um, and I was like, okay, that's what I do. That's the work. It was based in paint, but it was also informed by photography. And when I came to the work center, I was intimidated by the Fine Arts Work Center fellows. I was like, this, this, this group of um, excellent visual artists have been juried here, selected, you know, hundreds of applications. And I've just, you know, recently come out of college. I'm working in the office. And it was a big roller coaster for my creative identity. Um, and seeing them in their studios, seeing them confidently make their work, seeing them explore new options, um, I realized that I wasn't quite as secure as I thought I was. And that's one of the reasons why I picked the piece that I picked. This is one of the worst prepared canvases that I've ever made. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not on it, but it's, it's just so dry and scratchy. <laughs> Uh, but I was really excited to make the painting and I had, I think it was like a Sunday and I was going to go back to work the next day and I was like, today's my studio day. I'm not going to wait for this, you know, to sand and gesso and sand again. We're just going to, we're just going to start. So like, I think I, my brushes were just so worn down after this painting, but it was the first, I feel like it's like the first joyful painting where I was like, I'm just going to put anything that I want to in this painting. Um, so we've got balloon sculpture cactuses. We have astronaut Jesus. There was a period of time where a lot of religious <laughs> characters were showing up. I'm proud to be at the point where I am now where people can see my work and they, they know immediately who made it, whether it's because I match um, the work through what I wear every day, which is somewhat intentional, so I'm not just being honest with who I am in all aspects of my life, rather than trying to refine and, and groom artwork that is, you know, cool or trendy. What's, what's the image that's just sticking with you that needs to go in a painting? Start there, and then you can move into, you know, it will get the momentum going again, because there is a lot of ebbs and flows in my studio practice. There's, there's busy times of year um, with my other responsibilities that you can feel like, oh, I'm, maybe I'm not a painter anymore. And then you remember like, but that image is still with me. That means it needs to be painted. And then suddenly you're, you're right back into it. And you're, you know, it's like riding a bike, the, the muscles all come back. I'm usually culling a lot of imagery from social media. So anytime I'm scrolling, I'm also screenshotting. I stuck with that projector really because time was limited. I felt like time was limited and I wanted to get to the exciting part of moving paint around. I didn't want to, you know, have to keep adjusting my lines and, you know, oh, should I do it this size or don't, let me do it this size. I didn't want to play with the composition on the canvas. Um, I mean, I would always respond to it once it became a painting and change elements but I just wanted to get it on there fast. And so that was the 
kind of the idea it was like let's get it on let's let's put these images together let's put the you know pile of french fries and the stack of chairs and the balloons let's put it all together and photoshop has always been kind of like a note taking like photoshop has really been my sketchbook um i would say you know since i had access to a laptop um or like a media lab i think that being in a space that values painters is huge. Um, and also being in a community where almost everyone has a creative life of some kind, um, whether it's culinary or music or entertainment or you know traditional visual arts or performing, like almost everyone is leading like double, triple, quadruple lives. And you know, I can only imagine like living in another part of the country where that's not the norm would be really isolating. And so having the paintings, having the paintings feel celebrated out here is great. Um, I think that that continues the momentum of them being made.